What is going down, people? Man, it's been way too long since I've been on Old Charlotte here. It's in the 50s today, so I just had to get out. There's a dude on shorts, you know. I don't know if I'd be that crazy. So, I might be getting a job, a new job here pretty soon. And should I happen to get this new job, there's a good chance you guys won't see me for quite a few months. Uh, there's quite a lengthy training process. Uh, I don't want to really talk too much about it. Just because I don't want to, you know, I want it to all be a surprise. But if I disappear for a long amount of time, that means either it's too cold, I don't have time, or I got a new job. And I will let you know if I get that new job. I'm really hoping I do. It's definitely been a dream job for me. And it's just the opportunity happened to come up. And hopefully, I'm looking pretty good so far. Uh, you know, they came in, I came in to do some testing for it. It tested pretty high. Actually, I was a, I tested as the top out of the group that was with me. So, we'll see what that means. I got an interview on Wednesday. And uh, we'll just kind of see where it goes from there. Some of you might be able to guess what I'm going for, but for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm not going to say. I'm just going to let it be a mystery for a while. It's no fun if you don't have a mystery every now and then. I envy you guys down south where it's going to be warm. I wish it was going to be like that all year round here. So one of my hobbies in my off time and when I have time is cigars. I like a good cigar. I have a humidor that's pretty full right now, which is good and bad. It means that I have cigars, but it also means that I haven't had the time to enjoy a lot of them. Well, anyway, so a while back a buddy of mine and I were sitting around enjoying a cigar and got to thinking, is there any bacon flavored cigars out there? Now there's bacon flavored almost anything. So you almost have to imagine that there's got to be some kind of bacon scented or bacon flavored cigar. And in our searching, we did not find any that fit the description. So we got to thinking, how could we make a bacon infused or flavored cigar? And my first thought was bacon grease, but luckily somebody's there to tell me, you know, that's, that's usually the worst flavor of the bacon. And it's good for like cooking and dog treats or whatever, but it wouldn't be a very good taste in the cigar world. Now, I don't even really know if bacon-flavored cigars are even going to be good, but bacon-flavored anything is usually pretty good. Even, even candy and cupcakes and all that stuff. Holy cow. Got to make that green light. So anyway, you know, through our brainstorming that night thought of a great idea the wife likes to make candy and they usually have those uh, flavor extracts you know they pretty much have every single flavor I, I'm pretty sure actually we ended up did finding some bacon flavor extract and if it's safe for food you got to think it's gonna be safe to smoke I don't know if that's the you know best thought process but we are going to try it we're going to get a bundle of bulk cheap cigars and we're going to attempt our feat of making bacon infused cigars. And I'm pretty excited about that. I'm really, really excited to try it. Who knows, it could be the new trend and we might kick it off and I could be a millionaire. If I ever became rich, I don't know what I would do. I'd pay my house off and then go live in the country. That's what I would do. So this is the lake that I drove by earlier that was had a thin coating of ice in it. It does. It's got a thin coating. It's not 100% covered, but it's a start. So I'm pretty pretty excited about that. So back onto my bacon-infused cigars. What brought about the topic was that I got to start talking about if there was bacon-infused cigars, and my buddy said he would quit smoking cigarettes altogether 
if there was some kind of a bacon infused cigar. So then that's when we searched and then we brainstormed. So, in a way, I'm trying to help my buddy. So yeah, and then along the same lines of cigars, uh, talking about possibly starting a cigar club around my local area here, so thinking that would be cool. A little cigar club. And I did have one location in mind and I asked them via Facebook like a message. It was a pretty professional message. Anyway, uh, I never did hear back from them. So I'm going to say that they're going along the lines of no. And the biggest reason I wanted to go with them is because they had a heated outdoor area that would be great for the winter. Because in Nebraska, you can't smoke indoors anywhere. Except, I think in like the bigger cities, there's a couple places for cigar lounges. And I think they do allow, well, I know they allow smoking indoors there. But I can only assume that the permits that they have for that are pretty pricey. And I'm not about to go that route. Especially not in the beginning. So we're going to have to figure out somebody's garage for now. And it's going to be small scale anyway, at least in the beginning, you know, there's only going to be like five, ten people. So, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my plans for the very new future, near future. Yeah. So today I was going to go try and find some of that bacon extract. And the only store that I know of is actually closed on Sundays, so I might have to wait. I appreciate all who commented and gave me a little parenting advice for my last video. I'll take it to heart, all of it. That was a nice looking truck. Only uh, a couple months to go, and we'll have a little bundle of joy and poop and pee and puke. Yeah. Should be exciting. And I don't have any dad jokes today. I kinda, kinda think those are a little too dry. I'm thinking maybe down the road, I'll just start doing some regular jokes. But dad jokes are out for now. I got plenty in my repertoire of jokes, so I don't need to practice anymore. Well, I'll be practicing the ones I have. And there's some dad jokes that you can't really practice because they are they come up when, you know, your kid says something that warrants a dad joke. So that's that with the dad jokes. They were fun to try, but I've tried enough. So pretty much the only Christmas decorating I've done this year is we put our tree up. And that's not much because our tree is fiber optic so we didn't even have to light it. So I'm being pretty lazy this year. I do like to decorate for Christmas but I'm just, I'm just not feeling it this year. We got our foster boys I was really feeling it because we were going to have kids for this Christmas and it was going to be nice but you know they're going to be going home before Christmas so. That's the good and bad of that. And it is what it is, you know? It's a good thing for them, it's sad for us, but it'll all work out. It's all part of a plan that's just been destined for me, and that's just what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh, another bike. But yeah, I definitely had to go riding today. The weather is in the 50s. And all day, I haven't been able to ride till just now. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. And all day I've just been itching to get out on the bike. And I wanted to go to church this morning, which I did. And then it was such a great day. The wife and I, we took the dogs to the dog park. And we had a couple other things to go run and do. So I just now got on the bike and we're gonna ride for a little bit and talk with you guys. And yeah. I wonder what year that is. I don't know anything about older vehicles, but I do like to look at them. My mother is calling me. I may have to take this. Never ignore a call from your mother. Some evening I would like to ride around or even drive. I might have to drive because it's going to be too cold. But I'd like to show you guys the Christmas lights around town. Some of these neighborhoods have done really super good this year on their decorating. Like the street I live on is 
really good. I, it's like almost every house has put something up. I mean, except for me. I'm no Scrooge. I just... I don't have the time or patience to put all the lights up. I had enough time... I had a hard enough time untangling the lights to put them on my bike to take a picture. <laughs> uh. Well, people, I think I'm going to cut this one out here. It's been great riding with you today, and hopefully I get a ride again soon in the very near future, you know, maybe within a week or two. That's the plan, anyway. If I don't, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, stay safe. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. And we'll hope to see you next time.